Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Pownall. Today we're going to talk about giving your horse an intramuscular injection and how to do it. Often medication is left for you from your veterinarian that you need to give once, twice a day for three to five, maybe even more. And often giving it in the muscle is the best way to do it. There are a couple of areas that we recommend, primarily giving it in the neck area, but then we'll also talk about giving it in the hindquarters and in the pectoral muscles. When we're giving an injection in the horse's neck, we want to focus on this area. And the reason why we have this tape on is to show you where areas that we don't want to hit with the needle. Up here is the nuchal ligament that attaches to the withers to the back of the head that helps the horse keep his head up. Down here is the cervical spine or the neck. There's bone here. And right here is the shoulder. So this area has deep muscle where the medication can go into and penetrate well and get distributed to the rest of the body. How we recommend giving an injection is to take a slight pinch of the skin that will distract the horse. Insert the needle at an angle, slowly, deep up into the hub. Before injecting the medication, you always want to pull back to make sure you don't have blood coming out. Sometimes you'll go through a small blood vessel and we don't want to get the medication into the blood supply, just into the muscle. Once we know for sure that there is not any blood into the, into the syringe, we're then able to inject our medication. Now some medications, primarily penicillins, are a large volume and we want to put those into two spaces. Too much medication in one spot can cause the horse to get very sore. It can also cause an abscess if the uh, volume is too much. So what we'll do is we'll pull the needle out a little bit, not, out, not enough to come out of the skin, and we'll redistribute it into another direction. Again, pull the needle back to make sure there's not blood, and insert your medication. And then slowly pull out. The main reason we like using the neck is we can alternate sides so we're not getting the horse too painful on one side. It's also probably the safest area. You're not worried about getting kicked too much. Um, other areas that you can think about using are the pectoral muscles in between the forelegs. There's a lot of muscle right there that you can inject into that quite well and most ho horses tolerate that quite well. If we move further back up here, there's a lot of muscle here that we will inject in. We'll also inject in here and finally right in the back. The problem with these areas here is that horses don't like getting uh, a needle. They will kick out so there's a bit of danger for the person administering the medication. We also worry about side effects that if there is an abscess, uh, which happens rarely but can happen, it could cause some damage to the muscle back here and how the horses move. Whenever you're giving an injection in the neck, um, you want to make sure that you don't see some lumps form afterwards or areas of heat. Um, if that's the case, you do want to call your veterinarian to come back out again to check out everything is done okay. Otherwise, injections in the, in the neck, if you follow these steps properly, should cause you no problems whatsoever.